stating that unemployment is a challenge throughout the world. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today said that the government has realized that the only way to tackle the issue is by promoting entrepreneurship. Earlier today, the Federation of Kasi Jaintia Garo People, Shillong Unit, announced that they will be holding a public rally on the 21st of October to raise the issue of unemployment. The Federation claimed that there are more than 1,60,000 unemployed youths in the state. On government posts lying vacant, the chief minister said that the government has already advertised more than 2,300 posts and the recruitment process is underway. See, unemployment is uh, one of the biggest challenges that every government faces. And hence, uh, it's not just uh, here, but uh, it's a challenge throughout the world. And uh, therefore, concerns are there. And hence, uh, we have realized that the only way to tackle these problems is to promote entrepreneurship in order to ensure that uh, we have small scale businesses coming up, uh, to ensure that, uh, you know, the small value addition that can be done to the products that we have, uh, you know, can be there to uh, be able to provide the services when it comes to service sectors like vehicles and uh, transportation. So you'll be seeing that in every step of the way as we move along, whether it's the homestays that we're doing, whether it's the uh, tourism vehicles or the vegetable, uh, you know, the agriculture vehicles that we are going to distribute, whether it's a prime program where over 1,000, uh, you know, entrepreneurs have been supported, whether it's a self-help group movements we're having at the grassroots level, all these programs are actually directed towards helping and creating jobs. So unemployment is a continuous challenge that all governments face and uh, Meghalaya is not the only one. So therefore, uh, it is a challenge and uh, we're not saying that, uh, you know, there is no unemployment, but compared to many other states in the country, uh, the national records in the survey show that Meghala is in a better position. Uh, do we have to do more? Obviously, we have to do more. What are we doing? The things that I've mentioned to you are what we're doing. So therefore, the concerns are uh, obviously there and uh, we as a government are doing our best. Uh, but this is a dynamic situation and it keeps changing, keeps varying. Uh, different uh, situations lead to different challenges and uh, we have to adjust and accordingly move forward. So yes, it's a challenge, but we are doing our best uh, in different programs to address the issue of unemployment. Yeah. Uh, we have already advertised more than uh, 2,300 posts are right now, uh, interviews are going on. 1,300 teachers have been already appointed uh, in these vacant posts where the contractual teachers were there. These are technically vacant posts. So if you look at it, almost 4,500 different levels the employment has happened or is under process that's happening so um, uh, clearly the steps are being taken by the government so one cannot say that it's not happening we had a challenge because of COVID. we mentioned that uh, we could not conduct exams we could not conduct interviews uh, these have happened uh, you know for us but uh, in spite of that as i said 1200 teachers were uh, were appointed and um, almost close to 2300 plus uh, vacancies are uh, being filled up and the process is on as we speak. On the ongoing protests held by contractual teachers, he said. The word is contractual teachers and obviously they were on contract for 58 days and there was renewed every time 58 days. Uh, so therefore, uh, uh, you know, uh, the process of uh, selection of uh, permanent teachers took place. Many of the contractual teachers who were on contract, they applied and they qualified and they got through. Some of them, they were overaged and they could not get through. And, uh, but somebody else in their place on a permanent basis, about close to 1,300 teachers have been appointed. So uh, it's a complicated situation. Uh, we are not uh, able to come directly say that we will be able to give them because the job was contractual in nature. So if there is any possibility of uh, helping them in any other possible way, following the rules and procedures, and the processes that are there in the departments and the government, uh, we're ready to examine all of those things. But to be uh, able to just directly appoint them would not be appropriate for us because there are procedures and processes we have to follow.